Hiker Jay here. This week I got something I'm really excited to share with you. It is a GoPro case, not just any GoPro case, but it's a GoPro case that holds the mic adapter for GoPros 5, 6, and 7s. It's like a big adapter. So this company, Alon Alonzi, um, they have now made a case where you slide the actual GoPro adapter right into the bottom here. Now I'm going to show you all about this. We're going to check it all out together and I'm going to put it all together in my vlogging system so you can see how it will work. If this is the first time to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I put out new videos every Thursday, so if you could hit subscribe and like, that would be great. Would love to have you along for the ride. And as always, the links to the products are down below in my description so you can check them out yourself. All right, so this is something that I'm really psyched about. In full disclosure, um, the company did contact me about checking this out. They contacted me about two months ago, um, and I said, sure, I'd love to have it. Sent them my address. They never sent me anything. So I kept watching Amazon, and finally, last week, they were posted, so I purchased one. Now, first glance, just taken out of the package, it's super light. It is a plastic, but it feels like it's tough enough that it can take some abuse. The door, the back door, I think, opens sideways so it opens sideways like this um, to put your GoPro in it does have a hot shoe on top and all the little cutouts for all the different places for your GoPro to go so let's get my GoPro out just throw it in here and see how it looks all right so for this review I'm using the GoPro 7 black but it is supposed to hold the the five six and sevens as well but um, I absolutely love the sevens I did a video on the stabilization of this bad boy it's amazing I'll put the link up here to the right so you can check that out where I tested it out on a canopy walk so let's put this in here and see if first I would just want to see if it's gonna jiggle around and how everything kind of lines up all right so having it in here it doesn't jiggle at all it's super tight I'm not even like super tight it's just it's just a good fit and sometimes with the aluminums you have to kind of tighten them or do some things but this is a good fit that's it's great and it has all the little cutouts obviously you record your um, power on off you can see your screen in the front screen in the back and then they have the port over here for putting your mic in now I always take my door off of my GoPro 7 and I, it looks like you'd have to because it would catch on this lip right here and you wouldn't be able to pop it open. So I don't think you can have the door on so it wouldn't be waterproof while using this. Um, you'd have to keep that, you know, out of the rain and such. But um, it's a really good snug fit. I, I absolutely think it's great. So now let's get into this part and that is the adapter. So if you're new to GoPro, uh, especially 5, 6, and 7s, you have to use this mic adapter to hook up a microphone to the GoPro and it's a kind of an expensive adapter um, and it's awkward. It's big. So I did a, a setup with my aluminum setup where I just, I you plug it into the side and then you Velcro it off to the side here and it works pretty good where you can plug it in and it's okay but sometimes you don't you can't see the full screen and you want to be able to see the screen and everything but it does work but I'm hoping that this is a lot more streamlined and uh, works works better that way so let's see let's looks like we slide it in this way oh I I have Velcro on mine from where I do it but it's, I don't think it's gonna work with that so I'll have to take it off hang on so that's kind of a bummer. I kind of would like to keep that Velcro on there, but um, maybe this will become my go-to anyways and I won't need the Velcro. So let's see, let's slide it back in. So like so, and ooh, that's smooth. It's, it's snug, it's really snug. It's not gonna actually come out of there. That's pretty great. All right, so now you have it in there. So now you just have to plug in your USB-C into the side and that's really, actually I don't like that at all. That's if you see, it's really pushing up on it. I don't know if that's the right, well, let's see. Okay, uh, yeah, all right. I think, I think it's actually supposed to be spun around like that. So you spin it around and stick it in here. Now that I remember, I think I saw a photo of this when they emailed me, but so that, I don't feel like, yeah, that's nice and loose in the USB-C. Like when I say loose, it's not putting any like heavy torque on it anywhere. So I imagine that's gotta be the way that you do it. You just kind of have it curled around there and that'll be just fine. So look at that bad boy, nice and tight. I mean, this does kind of stick out to the side, but it's not anything too crazy. Um, so far, so good. Let's put it on the grip. So it's interesting, like going onto the grip, if you ever use the aluminum ones, sometimes they're so tight that you just have to like really force it into play, but it's really smooth and actually goes in, um, connects really nicely. <laughs> so I can already tell how the profile is really great with this. Yeah, it adds this kind of half inch right to the bottom, but it's still really compact. I mean, I think 
This is absolutely outstanding. This design, um, I did see somewhere, somebody actually did it online. I don't know if they like 3D printed it or whatever, this type of thing where they put the block underneath. Um, maybe it was on Etsy, I, I don't remember, it was a while ago. Um, so I was really happy when I saw that this company's like making these, it's great. And um, Alonzi makes all types of different things. So like, um, I have one of these, my cell phone holders that I made a video on if you're gonna vlog using a cell phone. Um, this one's really great, works really well. Um, the, the link to that video is up here on the right if you wanna check it out. But um, so far, I just love the platform. Let's add the microphone to it. All right, so I use a Rode mic and I absolutely love it. Uh, the Rode mic micro, I also have a larger micro Rode mic as well for just filming down here. But when I'm on the go, um, I really love this one. So it has this shock absorbing kind of um, mount here. And, well, hang on. Okay, so that, it's interesting. It has, oh, this, whoa, this comes out. Okay, so it has, is it two different size hot shoes? It has a hot shoe built into it. No, I don't know. They have this extra hot shoe that raises, maybe it raises it up because sometimes the microphone will actually like get in the shot. Um, but uh, yeah, they have the two, piece hot shoe not sure exactly I'm gonna go with the higher spot just to make sure that it doesn't come in because when you put the dead cat on it um, as you can see it can kind of be like pretty low so I bet that's what it is it's probably just a riser and and that's totally cool now here's here's the great part I usually always take and lock mine in um, into that with my microphone so that way it doesn't jiggle so much all right and plug her in oh that is sweet or as Will Smith would say, oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot right there. I like it. I think it's really compact, pretty nice. Um, this is probably gonna become my new vlogging case. So as you can see, the old one would actually cover a little bit, but this is this leaves it uh, totally open. I gotta say, I mean, I know that it adds like a, a half inch to like the bottom, but man, it's just so streamlined and so sweet. I really like it. Let's record a little bit. So I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro 7 right now. And I'm um, on the GoPro 7 vlogging with the actual new case and I love it. It's I think it's lighter because the aluminum is a little heavier, but this feels really light in my hand and easy to maneuver. So, oh, this is great. So light, it just feels absolutely right. Let me see if this catches the dead cat. No, oh, it doesn't catch the dead cat either. So that's pretty sweet. So, oh, one other thing that I just realized is that when I'm filming with the GoPro uh, 7, the one thing I can't stand is that it, with the aluminum case is that to take the aluminum case off, the back goes up instead of out to the side. So you have to take the microphone off to actually get it out. Where this one, I'm realizing, you can just slide off there, unplug, and you can pull your GoPro out without having to take your mic setup off at all. That is really excellent, absolutely excellent. I, I really like that because I do find it a pain to actually get the um, memory card out of the GoPro 7. You have to get it from the bottom. So you have to take it all the way out of your cage, your filming cage to actually like make it work. So um, that's pretty sweet to be able to take it out, change out a memory card and then, and then slide it right. I don't know if I'm showing that very well from this angle. Slide it right back together and oh yeah, turn it and curve it. And there you go, you're ready to go again. That is pretty sweet. And you know what I'm realizing too? Ha, is this hot shoe? It's, it's, a, it's a second hot shoe. I'm not sure if it's designed that way, but sometimes uh, to take the microphone off, you have to like unscrew it. And when I'm filming and talking in a microphone, sometimes I'll, I'll be filming myself, but then I wanna film something in front of me and then the microphone turns away. Check this out, I wonder. Yeah, so this slides right off the hot shoe and I could hold the microphone and I could actually talk into the mic just like this and turn it around and talk and then when I needed to come back I could slide it back into the actual hot shoe mark I don't know that if that's why they added that hot shoe there but that is pretty sweet now one more thing too is I have this uh, little uh, Udage Udage uh, microphone I'll show you, put the link down below which I do love this is more like Omnidirect, it's like gets all types of things instead of it just being a, like a shotgun mic. But um, I do like to use this one and actually that will be a great setup. That is really low. And why I like this one so much, I know it has a dead cat on it right now. I don't like to take it off because it's just a little microphone. But what's nice is if I'm filming something and filming myself, I can turn around and spin it like that and start recording and still be recording and then go back to uh, back to the vlogging style. So that is pretty sweet. Um, this microphone uh, is only like 
20 bucks or something, which, and it works really well. Of course, you got to get the L bracket, but that, that goes there. Oh, one more thing too, is that you can charge while it's setting in here. So it's got the USB-C right here um, and you could charge. They do have grips. They have um, battery powered grips that you could probably hook from here to there and run power and have extra power on board as well, running the GoPro 2 at the same time, which would be pretty sweet too. So it's kind of amazing for me to be saying I'm going to a plastic case like this, but having the actual audio adapter is a game changer, absolute game changer for me. So if you liked this video and found it useful at all, if you could hit like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. With a sweet little vlogging setup. Oh, I, I'm gonna go vlog. I gotta go vlog. I gotta go use this. Take care. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, if you hit subscribe, that'd be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday around outdoor gear. And if you'd like to support me, you can check out my merchandise. I have my Hike Happy shirt on here uh, at my store. You can click that down below and check out the other apparel that I have. Till next Thursday, just go ahead and watch some of my other videos.